Hi folks, so I'm going to help you understand the different parts of the vulva. We're going to start from the top. This is the mons pubis, where you see lots of hair grow naturally, but don't be fooled, there's hair all over the place, right? Not just up here on the top. Then the next spot is over here, which is the clitoral hood. And that is skin that goes over the clitoral glands, like the tip of the clitoris that folks can see um, often, particularly when aroused. And this would be the clitoral glands. And so people often think that this is this little nub right here is the clitoris, when really the clitoris is all along here. It's shaped like a wishbone and it's under the labia. And it is a fairly large three to seven inches um, complex that becomes erect and engorged. The clitoris, when really the clitoris is all along here, it's shaped like a wishbone and it's under the labia. And it is a fairly large three to seven inches um, complex that becomes erect and engorged during arousal, just like the penis. And so this would be like the head of a penis, the clitoris. Then let's see, this is the urethra, urethra, which is where folks with vulvas pee from. And it's also where ejaculatory fluid during squirting will emit from. Then we've got, these are the labia, menora or sometimes called the inner lips although they often branch out and then you've got the oops there you go then you've got the labia majora which are the outer lips and like i said those can the the labia menora are enveloped inside the labia majora but often peek through the middle then let's see what else we got we have here the vaginal opening. So when people say vagina, what they're often meaning is vulva because this spot over here is in fact the entrance to the vagina, which is the internal piece, not this whole thing. What else do we have? So over here is the frenulum or fourchette. I'm not even sure to pronounce that correctly, but it's where the labia minora, right? This section meet at the bottom. Then over here, you have the perineum, which is like a sensitive spot that you can put pressure on with the thumb or what have you. And then of course, we've got the anus. And I, these little dots are to represent hair.